Hello, I'm David Eder from the sales promotion team. Behind me is the new Terrasem V6000DZ mulch C drill with double hopper. Today, we're going to look at the calibration process together. Come with me. The first step is to go to the set menu and choose the seed library. Here, the metering units are assigned to the required seed material. If different seeds or fertilizers are used, the assignment is made using D1 or D2. D1 is the front metering unit. If the entire seed hopper is used for the same seed, the selection is made using D1 plus D2. The total application rate is then divided 50-50 between the two metering units. In the seed library, there is also the possibility to adapt the respective seed material. First, you adjust the application rate, either in kilograms per hectare or in seeds per square meter. For this, the exact seed weight per thousand must be entered in line 4 and the germination capacity of the seed is entered in line 8. During calibration, the filling level of one rotation of the metering wheel is determined automatically. A warning threshold for the filling level can be set. A good idea with small seeds. A target speed for the fan can be specified to match the seed type. If this is not reached, an alarm is given. The hectolitre weight can be set separately and is required for selecting the right metering wheel. If seed flow sensors are fitted, they are adjustable from 0 to 10. 0 corresponds to a high sensitivity, e.g. oil seed rape. 10 corresponds to a low sensitivity, e.g. for beans. The quantity applied and the area sown are also displayed below. Don't forget the placement point of the seed or fertilizer for correct monitoring of the injector valve. Once all the parameters have been matched to the seed, the next step is to select the right metering wheel. The metering wheels are all displayed in the sub-menu. A green check means that the metering wheel is well suited. A yellow check means the metering wheel is suitable. And if it is crossed out in red, the metering wheel is not suitable. If several metering wheels are well suited, choose the smaller one. If you want to find the right metering wheels in advance, without a terminal, you can use the free iOS Metering Wheel Assist app or the online calculator. To start the calibration process, enter the metering unit to be calibrated and select D1, D2 or D1 plus D2. If only one seed was selected for both metering units, D1 plus D2, then only one metering unit needs to be calibrated because the calibration value will then be copied to the non-calibrated metering unit. The basic requirement is that both metering units have identical metering wheels. It is also possible to calibrate both metering units simultaneously with D1 plus D2. The average driving speed while sowing and the pre-metering time are displayed. This is the time that the seed takes to travel from the metering unit to the seed coulter. This is particularly important when using section control. You will now be prompted to change the metering wheel and perform pre-metering and calibration. The correct metering wheels are now installed in the metering unit and the seed flap is set to the seed type. Three positions are available for fine, normal or large seed. To be able to carry out the calibration test, the calibration flap must be opened and the injector valve set to fertilizer so that the seed falls into the calibration bag hanging underneath. Once this has been set up, pre-metering can be carried out so that the metering wheel is filled with seed. Pre-metering is performed using the terminal or the external calibration button. The scales must then be zeroed to the weight of the empty calibration bag. The calibration process can be started and stopped using the terminal or the external calibration button. The revolutions of the metering shaft are displayed on the terminal. The more revolutions, the more accurate the calibration test will be. 
The weight is then entered at the turner. If calibration is performed without errors, then it can be confirmed, even if there is a large deviation. This transfers the measured values to the seed library. If the deviation between the target and the actual values is too large, or if the material is being calibrated for the first time, we recommend that you repeat the calibration process. Another way to calibrate the machine is the surface sample. To do this, enter the metering unit to be calibrated and the surface area at the terminal. After starting the process, the area is automatically metered. The weight is then entered at the terminal again. The calibration by area must then be confirmed again or cancelled if there was an error. If two different types of seed are applied, or seed is applied with fertilizer, the calibration process must also be carried out on the second metering unit. When you have finished calibrating the metering units, stow the scales in the calibration bag away again and close the calibration flap. The injector valve is used to assign each metering unit to the relevant coulter rail. If it is set to seed, 100% of the seed is sent to the seed coulter rail. If it is set to FERT, 100% is sent to the fertilizer coulter rail. If it is set to the center position, 50% goes to the seed coulter rail and 50% goes to the fertilizer coulter rail. Note that the seed material in the seed library is assigned to the coulter rail. Now the machine is successfully calibrated and ready to get to work. Good luck with drilling your seed. More success with Pertinger.